it's safe to say that day one of the PlayStation experience was a success. We got our first look at Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which is a PlayStation 4 remaster of the first three Crash Bandicoot games that came out 17 plus years ago. Also, a look at... Now, I'm not sure if this is a standalone game or a single player DLC for Uncharted 4, but they announced Uncharted The Lost Legacy. For what it looks like, we are taking control of Chloe Frazier from Uncharted 2 and 3. Also, Nadine from Uncharted 4 is in the game also, so that's basically all I know about the game as of now from the gameplay footage they showed us, but I'm pretty excited for it. Also, they have this new game mode being added to Uncharted 4's multiplayer, which is called Uncharted 4's uh, Survival. But, what stole the whole show was the reveal of The Last of Us Part 2. Now, I was expecting them not to, so I wouldn't get my hopes up, but they did. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on the teaser trailer they revealed at the event. It, it, yeah, because this game's in early development, so there's not much to go on besides this little teaser trailer. Before I start, I think it's appropriate to tell you briefly what I thought of the first Last of Us game. The story was interesting. I loved the atmosphere. I adored the voice acting. I liked the survival horror elements they had. I liked the concept of an infection. It's not a typical zombie infection. It's based off some infection that only inhabits insects. Hell, I don't even think they call them zombies. Overall, I thought it was a rather enjoyable game, and you should add it to your collection because it's, it's great. Like, you won't be disappointed. Unlike someone. The trailer starts off in a lush forest where we are greeted with the Firefly logo spray painted on a stop sign. Then it cuts to black with the Naughty Dog logo and such. Then we get a look at Ellie playing the guitar. She appears to be five years older from the last game which would make her 19 years old. The first thing you notice about her Besides her age difference and um, being covered in blood with dead bodies laying throughout the house. Whoa, are, 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 are they fresh? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that's highly likely because there's a dead body right next to her. And um, you see a dr uh, drop of blood drop from her face. So, yeah, these guys are pretty fresh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to break up the immersion, but I just now noticed that. Well, anyway, the first thing you notice is she has a tattoo covering up the bite mark. I'm not sure if that is the bite mark from the first game. I forget which arm it was. I just know it was on her forearm. If you saw the ending of the last game, Ellie was in danger for being immune to the virus. So, it would make sense for her to cover it up. If you haven't played the game at all, first, what the hell? Well, if you must know, through the power of plot convenience, Ellie is immune to the virus. It's never explained, but trust me, go along with it. Another thing I noticed is she was bitten on the neck also. She continues to sing her song as Joel walks in and says, What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? Then she replies, I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. I mean, what does she mean? Does she mean like 
any affected or the people that are after her because of her being immune to the virus. It's very open to, to for discussion. It's kind of hard to say right now, but it could be either one. So let's just wait and find out. And that's about it. I enjoyed the reveal trailer and I'm even more excited for the actual game to come out whenever that is. And that's all I really wanted to say about this trailer. I'm going to try to um, cover the other games that I mentioned earlier in separate videos so I would look out for it. I w I'm not making promises but I uh, may do a video on those those games or DLC whatever you want to call it well anyway bye